Hi there, I am here to give you a quick tutorial for how to work shadow wrap short row corners. In this case, I am demonstrating using my El Rey Viejo washcloth pattern. You might also see short row corners on the popular 10 stitch blanket on Ravelry. In this case, I'm going to be demonstrating using a washcloth in progress. I'm actually almost finished with this particular washcloth. And what I've done is I've reached the end of my side and I've begun to work short rows in order to form a corner that I will then increase back so that I am at a 90 degree angle to where I was when I began. And so you can see I'm going to show you the completed corner here. This is what a completed corner will look like. You can see we start going in this direction, work our short rows, and start working, increasing back. You're basically putting some of your stitches on hold as you work a short row corner. So in this case, I have worked a few of the stitches. In this case, we're going to be ignoring this first stitch. This is a join stitch, so we're just not gonna work a short row on this one. We're just gonna leave it alone. Here is a shadow wrap that has already been worked. You can see it as there we go. Got our yarn in back. All right, so you can see the shadow wrap stitches like to hang out paired together on the needle. So you can see just that little gap there. There we are. All right, so in this case, shadow wrap, shadow wrap, shadow wrap not wrapped, next stitch to be wrapped. So we are going to work until the stitch to be wrapped. In this case, we will knit, knit, and now we are at the stitch to be wrapped. Here you can see this is a wrapped stitch and this is an unwrapped stitch. In this case, because this is a garter stitch, we're going to treat this as if it is a pearl shadow wrap. We're going to bring the yarn in front of the work, slip the stitch, and then here you might want to put your finger on the stitch that you just slipped to keep it from sliding off the needle. What you're going to do is dip your needle in, your left hand needle, and pick up that base loop that this slip stitch came out of and then you are going to purl into that base loop. See there? So now before I've taken anything off the needle, you can see I have my original slip stitch. This is the base stitch or mother stitch that those stitches came out of. And this is the purl that I just did into that stitch. So now I'm going to take it off the needle and slip it back to the left hand needle. And what you can see is that we have two stitches now coming out of the same mother stitch or base stitch. So now we are going to turn and I'm going to bring the yarn back around and we're going to work back. So we have one more stitch to work as a shadow wrap and then we will have reached our edge and we can be begin increasing to form the other half of our corner. So again, we slip the stitch, work into the base. See, I'm picking up that base loop, purl. Again, I'm a, I think this is a uh, continental style knitting. If you do the throwing style, it might look a little different. And in this case, this was the last stitch to be wrapped. I also have a three, let's see here. You wanna make sure to slip those stitches as one. And then this is a three stitch I-cord border that we're just going to slip. All right, so, you know, black yarn is not entirely the best choice. This is the stash yarn. I'm really trying not to uh, purchase more yarn here. All right, so here, is our corner worked halfway. We've got a join stitch. 
We've got a join stitch. This is an unworked stitch. We've got one, two, three, four, five shadow wrap stitches, and you can see the shadow wrap just sits snug up against your original slip stitch. And then we have three I cord stitches over here. All right, so now we are ready to work the second half of our corner that's going to increase the number of stitches that we're actively working with. So the first step in this particular pattern is to do one round of the three I cord edge stitches by themselves. I'm just going to slip those back to the needle. All right, and now we can begin increasing our corner. One, two, three. Now it's time to deal with the first wrapped stitch. And in this case, we want to make sure that we treat the stitch and its wrap as one stitch. So we are simply going to knit these two stitches together as if they are one. So now we've worked the first wrapped stitch. The next step is to wrap again the next stitch. So we are, this stitch already has one wrap on it. You can see there are those two stitches snug up. We're going to work a purl into the base stitch again. So now there are three stitches snug up together. Slip that back to the needle, turn to work the wrong side. So in this case, we're going to knit and slip these last three. And I'll do this again. We're going to work, knit one, two, three, four. We're going to knit our fifth stitch. This one is more of a triplet. This is the stitch that's been wrapped twice. Again, you're gonna treat it like it's one stitch. Knit together all those stitches. All right, then we're going to wrap this stitch again. Slide it back, turn. Watch your yarn fall on the floor out of camera range. Knit two, slip these last three I cord stitches. All right, so you can see we are starting to form this corner. You can see our diagonal line starting to form and we have knit these stitches, no longer shadow wrap. This one is a triple wrap. This is the next one we're gonna knit. This one's a, a, same, a double wrap, a twin stitch. This will be the one we wrap again. All right, knit two, three, four, five, knit this triple stitch together as if it were one. Make sure you get all the stitches. And now this is another wrapped stitch that we're going to My choice of black yarn here was possibly not ideal. I'm doing my best with the camera settings. I realize I'm going to have to do another tutorial. Again, so we've got one more twin stitch right here. You can compare it to the single stitch right here. You can see the difference. And this stitch is going to be 
wrapped so that it has two wraps on it. All right, so here you can see the corner that we have just worked. We have held all these stitches down up here, and then we've increased back again. And now this is the last stitch. It is the last shadow wrap. You can see it's got those three stitches on it because we wrapped it twice. So two wraps plus the original stitch. And now we are going to complete our last row and uh, finish turning our corner. And again, you're going to treat these shadow wrap stitches, these twin stitches or triple stitches in some cases, as if they're one stitch. You just knit them together. Knit, 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 knit. So see, this is the shadow wrapped stitch. Knit it together. All right. And now we are ready to work our join stitch. In this case, we are going to pick up just one single stitch from the edge here. We are almost ready to actually finish this washcloth. We're going to pick up one stitch, knit, pass the stitch over, turn to work wrong side, and simply follow the pattern instructions. And we're going to simply work our way back. Slip, slip, slip those last stitches. And so here you go. You can see our corner that we just worked. Shadow wraps, super easy. Super duper easy. My next video is going to show you how I join um, and graft the corner that we've just worked to this cast on edge. So if you are interested in making the El Ray Viejo washcloth, I hope you'll stick around and check it out.